Wow, wow, wow. Greetings. Blessings. This is a little summary reflection after the second Sovereign Men online gathering, one day online gathering. I extended the second one for an extra hour because it was really needed. Um, and I realized in the beginning of starting these Sovereign Men online gatherings for men, for those identifying as men in male bodies, that I thought, oh, you know, maybe 20, 30 men will come. And now I realize, no, the divine doesn't want that. Each event has had uh, seven of us, um, eight, I think, yeah, on one. So that's actually the limit. I just realized yesterday again, it was confirmed because we drop into such a, a beautiful, deeper space when there's less of us. And it's not just about numbers, but it's actually about depth and giving each other space to really share and show up. And all I can say was, I was so touched. So touched yesterday. Like at the end, we, we sat in silence together, just witnessing each other. And um, most of us, if not all of us, <clears throat> were crying. And it's so simple. It's so crazy how simple it is that we, as brothers, as men, want to just come together, or bristers, as I call us, the brother and sister within. <clears throat> we just want to come together and and connect in the diversity and connect in the the realness, the authenticity, and and feel the support and feel heard and seen, and it's so powerful. And every time the divine orchestrates the perfect group of beings to come together to mirror each other to support each other and I come away just feeling so nourished and nurtured myself and really bring in this <clears throat> message of um, sovereignty what does that really mean and you know we even explore that together as the group like what does it really mean for each of us and we're all unique and diverse and coming from different backgrounds and different beliefs and different indoctrinations and conditioning so what does that really mean and, how, and where do we find the common thread of what that means together and find coherence and go oh yeah exactly that that relates to me yes that makes sense to me and then wanting to step into that full responsibility of our words actions thoughts the behaviors behaviors that we're we're living by and how to feel supported to change because we want to change not because society is telling us to change not because we have to think we're better or think that we need to be successful or be more no to realize we're already whole and then in order in order for that to happen shit has to change because we built up a load of fabricated beliefs and stories that told us that we're not enough so that's what changes that stuff falls away and then we come together and we realize oh actually I'm already whole and I can celebrate my wholeness and I can still enjoy exploring, learning and doing and being from a place of uh, playfulness and that I've already arrived, not from a place of stress, not from a place of inadequacy or unworthiness or anxiety. Can you see, if you're listening to this, can you see how potent and powerful this is? And then when there's a group of brothers, bristers holding each other and just showing up in our raw diversity and sharing the truths and sharing uh, real uh, transparent um, uh, communication. It's simple. It's not like I'm showing up and sharing something so revolutionary. We're showing up and holding each other to speak our truth. It's always been that simple. Simplicity is divinity. But still, to this day, 21st century, there's not enough spaces. Well, well, there is enough. I don't want to say it's not enough because there's enough of everything. But there, there can be more spaces like this. You can create them too. <clears throat> you out there, brothers and sisters, bristers, we're all bristers. We've all got a brother and sister with him. In our wholeness, we can create spaces to come together and listen to each other and cut out the superficial nonsense and drop into our depth and into our miraculous nature of the raw intelligence that we are. And when we connect, when we link this in, this came up yesterday, 
when we link in and connect to our pleasure, we naturally connect to our power, the pure power, not the power over, not the power dominated, hungry, um, controlling, war mongering. No, the pure embodied power where pleasure and power are one. And when we own and claim back our pleasure as our birthright through touch, through awareness, through breath, through movement, through sound, then we don't need anything outside of us to fulfill us. We don't need to go hungry, searching for something. We don't have that neediness, that clinging, those attachments. We don't need sofas and cars and things. We use them, but we don't need them to justify who we are, to make us feel more whole. That, my friends, is the, is the dissolution. And if there's any real change ever happening, I've been saying this for many, many, many years, as many, many other messengers have too is the change happens within. And when we take responsibility to go in, if you want to do any real action right now, in alignment and in response to the destruction and the separation and the suffering and the pain and the polarity that we're seeing out there, then go inside. <clears throat> Connect to your pleasure connect to your sovereign nature, connect to your true power, connect to you as a grand manifester, co-creator, collaborator, participator in the birth and the continuation of this magnificent mystery. <sighs> That's how powerful we are. Every thought, word, action, choice that we make is rippling in the pebble in the palm then whoosh, rippling out and back out and back into all of creation so brothers sisters if you hear this call pass it on the next one will be listed soon sovereign men what does it mean to be sovereign what does that what does that word evoke in your being as you listen to me this is the way the freedom is. The free, the, our freedom cannot be taken away. Everyone keeps talking at the moment about, oh, they're taking our freedoms away, they're taking our freedoms away. Our freedoms in that perspective of our civilization and society as we know it, as we've seen it orchestrated, which has served its purpose but is now crumbling, that, you was never free there. If you, thought, if you thought you were free because you had a job and you were going to work every day and, and, and feeding a system built on an education system that is flawed and that is, is dysfunctional and destructive, then you, you were definitely not free anyway. And freedom itself cannot be taken away by anybody. That's the paradox, the funky paradox, as I like to say. So reconnect to your freedom by going inside and then deciding where you focus your plasma and what you uphold because you will not crumble and fight the system that is in place it's designed in order to to fight but what you will see is from the bottom up it crumbles as the more of us awaken to our sovereign nature then you will see the top fall down and they have no awareness of that because it will crumble and dissolve and this isn't about revolution this is dissolution dissolving that which is false within ourselves. And then, of course, in an outer micro-macro, it drops. And then you realize you are part. You are actually consciously participating in the dissolution of all that is dominated and manipulated and coerced and overpowered and controlled, controlled the energy forms and and us in a slave culture, but as a sovereign being, you do no longer participate. You say, I no longer acquiesce. I'm out because I'm in. Oh, <laughs> sending your love. Thank you to all the brothers, bristers that came to be with me yesterday. Crying with you was a, and being with you and sharing with you was a deep, deep, Deep pleasure. It's great, great pleasure. It brings me great inner peace to know that there are bristers out there doing this work by going inside 
and facing themselves so courageously, so bravely, so vulnerably. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <sighs> mm, blessed. <laughs>